Hello, an update on the DT20 uh, DC voltage current power ooh, and amp hours monitor um, because it has new firmware. So on your phone, I'll just reposition the camera. It will just, when you're in the app, it will just pop up and say there's new firmware. Do you want to install it? You say yes. Um, interestingly, I didn't have the five volt connector connected when I upgraded the firmware. I just had it running from the um, battery voltage and it kind of locked up halfway through. Well, no, actually not halfway through, near the end. And I just sort of shut it down and did it again and it upgraded fine. So it does seem to be quite a resilient firmware upgrade, but I would suggest you do it with the uh, five volt power connected because you're upgrading over Wi-Fi. Um, it's <laughs> dodgy enough as it is going over an RF link. Uh, you don't want power problems as well. So this new firmware, um, if I go up into the bit there where you can rename the device, down here we've got uh, device updates. There's no updates available. But if I go into it, you can see that this is V107. There are no further updates. Um, so this is now running V107. So they have fixed my main criticism, which was you get this little arrow. You can see that it's pointing to the left. Now you have to imagine that there's a battery symbol on the left. There isn't actually, there's just this sort of flash thing. Um, so arrow to the left means you're charging the battery. If I turn the charger off, we've got no current. If I now turn my, oh, and uh, actually I need to put on this thing because it speeds up the rate at which data is sent uh, from this unit over the Wi-Fi to my phone. We can see no current there. If I put the light bulbs on now, you can see, oh, can you see that? <laughs> it's very tiny, but there is a tiny little minus sign in front of the zero there. So we can see that 190 uh, milliamps, they're quite small bulbs, um, is now coming out of the battery. And that minus sign means that you know whether the battery is discharging, which it is at the moment, or whether it's charging. If I just put the charger on, actually, that will out... Um, there'll be a lot more current than the bulbs are taking. So now that's gone positive 825 milliamps. So we know now that the battery is charging. So that's the first thing they fixed, which is a big um, improvement. Okay, the next thing that they've changed, which is an improvement, is here on the first page, we've got 100% uh, battery voltage is 24 volts and 0% battery voltage is 12 volts. Now, if we go down to the next page, completely separate, and these weren't separate before, these were merged, we've got the over voltage trigger is now set to 420 volts because I'm not using it. And the low voltage trigger, also I'm not using that, is set to zero volts. Now, these were merged parameters before, so now at least you've got battery top and bottom parameters and they're used in the third page here um we're well over my yeah i was i set this to 24 volts with some super caps i'm now charging my sodium ion batteries and i'm at 30 volts so i'm well over 100 percent. but now you can set um, a battery zero percent and a battery 100 percent parameters entirely separate from these alarms because previously the alarms would go off because they were um, combined parameters. Now they're completely separate and that's a lot better. Uh, that's the graph page. Um, what they haven't changed is these counters. So the capacity in amp hours and the uh, energy, which is, uh, well, they've got kilowatt hours on this page. I think there's another page with it in watt hours. Yeah, here it is in watt hours. Um, these count up. Yes, that's better. You can see that counting up there. So that's with the light bulbs. That's with the... Um, ah, that's discharging. Why have we got an arrow pointing in to the battery? Oh, no, the charger's on. So that's charging, 0.83 amps. If I turn the charger off, it's now discharging into the light bulbs. Um, and you'll see that the energy monitor still counts up. 
So these parameters count up regardless of whether you're charging the battery or whether you're discharging. So they're not Coulomb counters. Um, you're not able to see the current state of charge of the battery. They're really sort of lifetime usage counters, uh, whether or not that's useful to you. Um, another thing they've done is in the app, they've got special fields for setting the 100% battery voltage and the 0% battery voltage, but they don't appear to work because if I um, adjust the 0% battery voltage, and this is where there's this, another problem, these go from zero right up to 450 volts. Um, so if I want to set that to 12, it's near enough impossible. And I can't set it to exactly 12 because the granularity is some arbitrary amount. So it's very difficult to set these. And indeed, if I set that, um, nothing seems to happen. It doesn't change the value here and it doesn't pass the value over to the device, you can see that it's still set to 12 volts for the 0% uh, parameter. So to sum up, uh, my main concern, which was not being able to see direction of current flow, has now been resolved. So negative sign when discharging, I've just turned the charger on. Oh, I need my fast data system switched on uh, no negative sign when charging the battery that is a big bonus uh, that makes this unit now usable to put in the shed and remote access and not having the over voltage trigger and the low voltage trigger merged with the battery 100% voltage and battery 0% voltage having those now split separately um, is also a major benefit because you don't get this thing where it's constantly <laughs> going into alarm mode. So if you've got this uh, DT20, I would recommend that you put that new firmware on. It will just pop up in the app and you just sort of say, yes, okay, do it. It does seem reasonably safe. Uh, I'm not sure I'd use the word bulletproof, but it does seem reasonably reliable upgrading firmware over the Wi-Fi that seems to work fine and uh, just a final shot of this thing in context I've uh, now on my uh, sodium ion 8 cell battery I've got the TK15 coulometer mounted on there so that's able to uh, count coulombs up or amp hours milliamp hours up and down got the voltage monitors got the balancers and this is hooked up so that I can see uh, energy coming out and going in. So that's my uh, current setup. But that's it for this video. It's just a quick video on the uh, update firmware for the DT20. That's it. Cheerio.